Hey, what's up guys? This is Synapse. This is a part of my new video tutorial series. I want to give you guys all the tips and tricks you need to know to make these videos. So in the last tutorial, I showed you how to extract characters in 3D. I'm going to show you how to set up a scene using characters extracted from WoW. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating an army. I create a cloner object. I make the 3D character a child of that object. Now I can edit the properties of the cloner tool. Then I can basically clone that single 3D character into multiple. All right, so that's how I create the army. If I look at the cloner object options, I can modify the count to add more characters. And there's some other options down here that you can modify to make the cloned objects look how you want them to look. So now let's set up the scene. Uh, when I work in Cinema 4D, I need to set up the scene to be HDTV 1080. And you can use whatever FPS you want. I suggest either 30 or 60. There's the army, so they're all in a group, and I'll name that group army. I'm going to create a background. I'm going to go up and select background. Alright, so I have a background object. Now I'm going to create a new material, so go down Select Create New Material, double click on the new material. You can add a texture and then click Texture. So I'm going to select a WoW background. This is going to be from Org. I click No. And now I have this single image as a background. And I'm going to drag the army around so they look like they fit. Here I add a camera. I think for this example you don't actually have to add the camera yet, but I'm going to add it anyway. And here I'm going to add some lights. So I click up there, add some lights. You can position the lights in the room. I'm going to add a few lights in the front and a few lights in the back. And you can change the intensity of the lights and you can place them around the room so that the light source matches the light source in the game. And already the lighting looks way better. All right, there you go. Hope this gives you some ideas. In the next tutorial, I'm going to use After Effects to track a WoW scene so that we can get these 3D characters into an actual live WoW scene. If you like these tutorials, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for the support, guys. Good luck and have fun.